Hey guys, this is What If. I, I really don't have anything good to say, honestly. There's just a lot of shit going on right now. If you haven't seen my Twitter, I'll break it down here on the channel. So on Tuesday, Dad passed out at work, and it was pretty much a very scary situation. He was dangerously close to a cardiac arrest, stroke, or a heart attack. I, I don't know which one exactly, but it's very scary. And... Um, he was in there for about two nights. Mom was there the entire time. <laughs> I couldn't believe she did that, but she did it. But there was just a lot of things they did. And now, we're at a point now where we don't know if he can work. And we, uh, just today, uh, he called his boss saying, can I get the work truck? Because he left it at the boss's house. And the boss said, no, just leave it there. And it gave the impression like he didn't want him working anymore, which veers off into a lot of things. <sighs> like, we can lose this entire house, and that's not fun. That's really fucking scary. So, I don't know what comes of it. I don't know what can happen. I'm fucking worried. Even if he applies for disability, that's like $700 a month, and we're used to getting a paycheck of like 1.2k a week from from him, so even that, that wouldn't cover, that wouldn't do anything. So we're in a really very scary situation, I mean we're at the point now where we're going to get the last of uh, Dad's check from the previous week whatever may however much that may be but it's gonna it's gonna get to the point where at least for for the parents for, for my mom and dad for for me I can kind of fend for myself getting food or, or pizza or, or whatever I want but as far as for them or whatever I mean they might just simply have like cereal or whatever is in the house right now like it's just it's that bad and I'm trying to save up money for myself for my future and I'm trying to help out as best as I can with little little things that they that they would need or, or anything like that and with YouTube screwing me over this is like the absolute worst worst case scenario and uh, it's just very stressful and we don't, we don't know what to do and it's hard to be in a good mood while making videos when so much is on my plate. And so much of it is just unknown and uncertain. And I don't even know what to say. I mean, you guys already came in clutch for me. But the the, the last video, uh, video I talked about, like pictures and everything, I can't I, I, I can't expect anything more. So I, I, I understand, but it's just, I wanted you guys to know. It's just not fun. It's just not fun. I just... I don't even know what more to say. It's just a very stressful situation. And I really don't have much... else to really add. It, but that's just a lot of things going on now. And... It's, I, I don't know. It seems like Dad's condition is getting better. There was a lot of issues beforehand when he came back home. He didn't feel like eating. He couldn't sleep. He couldn't shit. Now at the very least, he's he's doing all those now. He's doing everything. He's sleeping, he's eating a little bit more, he's pooping more. Everything like that. When you have an issue with the heart, I mean, even if you're constipated, that's going to build up pressure in your stomach and it's going to go to the chest too. And that's pretty much what's going on now. It's not even a valve or anything that pumps into the heart that could be cleaned. It's just the heart is weak. That's, that's it. And... When the heart's weak like that, you, you can't push it. The doctors even advise them to not lift anything over more than five pounds. And considering what, what Dad does in, in his normal work stuff, I mean, he does basically almost everything and anything. Like that, that's all he knows is working and doing stuff. So when you take that away, I mean, I can only imagine what he's going through. It's just a lot. So he's trying to take it easy, he's trying, but he still tries to do stuff and everything, and 
I don't know. I don't know what more to say. It's just really tough. It's not fun. It's just awful. And I like to thank you two for absolutely fucking me over and just destroying my livelihood. Hopefully when they reapprove it, I can... If it happens again, I'm just going to scrap it. I just forget about it. Because this, this whole thing is absolutely pathetic with YouTube and how the way they, they've treated me and everything. I don't even know what I did. I'm assuming it's the everyone videos. I don't know. I have no clue. And that I have to worry about, like, the dentures I was wanting to get. But we can't worry about that unless we know for sure Dad's much better. And we know what what the future comes. So I can't even worry about that. His health is way more important than my teeth. But there's just, uh, I don't know. I just want you guys to know there's just a lot going on. And best case scenario, d Dad ends up working at a place that's not as stressful or heavy lifting. The other job he had prior to the one he was with or that he's at was nowhere near as stressful. Nowhere near as crazy. So he could go back there. He has a family member that works there. He can get in through them. And that, then he could work there and we can get by. But worst case scenario will go on disability and we won't get nearly as much we'll lose the house where will we go from there I don't know but it's fucking scary you know I, I, I don't know and I, and I feel helpless because I can't do much more than, than what I can other than simple little things I can get at the store for them Any, anything like that I I can't. I just feel like shit. So I don't know. I don't know. I got nothing more to say. I'm not in a good mood, really. I'll keep making videos. But. I don't know. That's all I want to talk about. I don't even feel like talking anymore. But I'll see you all later.